Do you really hate your neighbor? Have you ever wanted to tear their house clean off its foundation? Have you ever wanted to haul a medium-sized shark in the back of your pickup truck? If so, GMC has you covered with this new Sierra Duramax with over 900 pound-feet of torque and a towing capacity over 15,000 pounds. This is one impressive machine able to do whatever sort of wacky job you have in mind. Is it good for your average consumer? Let's take a look. So today we're going to take a look at this 2020 heavy duty GMC Sierra. This one has the AT4 package and that 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine. But before we get into it, I just want to say we have reviewed a GMC Sierra before. However, this is the heavy duty version of that and this is a 2020. That was a 2019 and this review will be a bit more in depth than that one. Also a big thanks to Coon Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville for letting us take a look at this very impressive vehicle today. They have some great deals, some great inventory especially Eric thank you for helping us out there uh, a link to their website will be in the description below let's get into it we're gonna start with our exterior review of this vehicle and we're here at the front and I'm just gonna say this thing looks mean I really like the look of the front of this vehicle I think this is out of all the heavy-duty pickups my favorite looking front end so let's really get into it from the top here you have a very angular bulging hood that's something you would expect it's very squared just like the rest of this truck you have this awesome little snout right here this air intake which is functional there are real holes through there so that is awesome it, it just gives an aggressive front look to this truck as we move down from there, you have this grill here. It's not really a creative grill per se, not something we haven't seen before. However, it looks tough, it looks rugged. You have sort of these rectangles and it's this dark metal, kind of like a smoky metal. And right behind that, you can see this giant radiator um, and it really looks functional. Like there's just massive amounts of air going through here to power that 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine. Moving down from here, you have your red tow hooks. This is really, really cool. I love how it's the contrast contrasting colors it looks really great over to your side I like how the bodywork right here plays with the lights how it sort of runs through between these two light boxes right here you do have your LEDs right here and you have this big light strip that runs like this it's very uh, it reminds me a lot of the Ford f-250 in many ways how it runs like that like a box I really like this look on this truck and the f-250 I'm gonna say I like the look of the front of this vehicle more than the f-250 other than that, there's not a whole lot to say other than this is just a very squared, masculine, good looking machine. So we're here at the side of this HD right here. And I'm just going to say it's a very good looking vehicle from the side. Again, very rough, very rugged. Uh, first of all, you have this GMC right here within your orange reflector. These orange reflectors have to be here by law. So it's nice that GMC at least put some time into it and wrote GMC in it instead of just sticking a regular orange reflector there. That's what makes these high priced trucks look good. Uh, small things like that. Down here, you have these $3,000 wheels. They are 20 inches. They are high gloss black. I really like them, especially in this black on black look. They look very mean, very aggressive. They're um, definitely off-roady looking. And overall, I like the look of them a lot. And then right here, you have your Duramax, Duramax badge, excuse me, telling everyone that you have the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine with some impressive capabilities. And they surround that badge in this nice fake smoky metal with GMC stamped into it. And then there are the mirrors. These tow mirrors have a lot going on. So as I just mentioned, they are tow mirrors because this truck is intended for towing. Again, you have that near around 15,000 pound towing capacity. First of all, there are lights all over this mirror. You have lights here. You have lights underneath the mirror. And then on this side, you have more light. So, you know, it's a lot of lights for just a side mirror. And then remember, you have these three lights on the other side mirror for a total of six lights on the side mirrors just sort of an interesting thing to note underneath there you also have a camera so there's a lot going on this camera's part of your safety system monitoring those road lines another interesting thing on this vehicle on its mirrors is the warning sign for the collision alert system for the blind spot monitoring system you know most automakers have an exclamation point or something to tell you that there is someone in your blind spot however general motors puts this weird star with a car the star is not like a perfectly drawn star. It's kind of odd, you know, you'll see what I mean. So as we continue down the side of this vehicle, you have big HT, HD, and AT4 badges right here. They're very chunky, very big, made of real metal. They look very nice. They tell everyone that you went for these options to get the insane capability that comes with this truck. You have your running boards here. Not too much to say about them other than they are necessary. There's no reason not to have running boards on a truck this high. 
that's it, uh, end of story. You have very nice painted handles right here with these chrome buttons to do your automatic locking and unlocking. And then as you move back, you can see just the shape of this truck. Really, it has a nice side profile in my opinion. Uh, the weight just hangs over in the back here. The weight slowly slopes down and it's just a very good looking cabin. There's not too much to say about the bed here other than it does say GMC on the sides of the bed, which is nice. You have these 20 inch wheels again back here. You do have GMC stamped into the orange reflectors back here. Overall, it's a very good looking vehicle. I like it a lot, especially features like this side step right here to get up into that high up bed. Overall, a very good design. Here at the back of the vehicle, I'm gonna start by talking about the tail lights. They say Sierra in them, which is a very nice touch. They look good in my opinion. There's nothing too special about them. There's not a whole lot to say. I just think they look nice on this vehicle. The bumper down here, you do have little steps within your bumper. You do have your parking sensors right here as well on this vehicle. Those are very nice to see. And then what everyone talks about on this truck, the tailgate. Now I'm sure you've seen other videos of this truck, so I'm not gonna go on too long about it. However, you do have a baby tailgate within a big tailgate. So you can see there's your baby tailgate and here's the big tailgate. Now you can also deploy both of them at the same time, and doing so will allow you to deploy a third sort of baby tailgate, which gives you a nice step into the back of your truck. Do I think this is overkill? Yes, but it's awesome. Here in the back of the Sierra, really it is a very practical bed. If you've seen our uh, Chevy Silverado or other GMC videos, you'll know that the beds in these trucks are very practical, very useful. You do have many tie downs here, down here. You have lights. You also have a full size power outlet, which is awesome. And then also you have an AT4 right here, which is very nice that you get that badging even in your bed. And you have a camera system right here. What could that be for? We'll show you on the inside. So here we are looking at what is so important for this truck, the engine. Now I mentioned its towing capacity. This truck does have a towing capacity of around 15,000 to 18,000 pounds, depending on how you load it up and which cab you get. Now this right here is the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel engine, producing over 440 or around 445 horsepower and 910 pound feet of torque. Those are some very impressive numbers. And well, this engine is so packed in it's so dense and it's just really some incredible piece of machinery so first i want to talk about the materials on the inside of this vehicle i'm going to say i'm very impressed here there are some fake materials of course like some fake carbon fiber on the doors but it looks good and um, honestly they don't go excessive with the fake carbon fiber so i'm okay with it but there is lots of soft touch leather almost everywhere you touch your armrests are leather right here is leather up here is all soft touch it feels very good and then they tie in that leather with this nice brown stitching, which, which ties in very nicely with the seats. The seats are very comfortable, very wide, and they have this nice brown sort of insert within them. It's a very nice look, and it clearly some time went into it. In terms of other materials, there is some like real sort of metal in the uh, floor mats, which is very nice. You have these AT4 floor mats, which look very good. Overall, I'm very pleased with the materials on this interior. Um, it For a truck, they are both cleanable and durable, yet also nice to the touch. So here we are at the driver's area and my complaints here are really the same as the ones that you might have seen in our high country video, our Chevy Silverado high country. The steering wheel is not very thick. For a truck, I would like something a bit thicker and I would like if you were touching a bit of a nicer material on the back with your fingers here, other than sort of a bit of a rough plastic. But other than that, the steering wheel is attractive. Um, it's sort of a plain steering wheel, but there's nothing too wrong with it. Uh, you have this actual sort of metal around the GMC badge right here which makes it look a little more interesting this um plastic with sort of these lines going through it and you do have some nice brown stitching that matches the rest of the interior and then in front of you you have this big screen which we'll get into a bit more detail later you have easy access to a lot of your drive controls right here which are surrounded in this nice metal accent so that's nice to see and then you have all your typical window mirror controls over here by your arm overall uh as a driver your position is high on the road it's commanding that's why you buy these trucks it's a very good view i have easy view of my mirrors it's a very well laid out area so here we are right now in the driver's area looking at that screen and First of all, you do have your two physical gauges on the side, which look very nice. You have that metal surrounding it. I like that the screen is not just a square. It's very nicely designed. I appreciate that very much. 
And you have a few different screens that you control on your steering wheel using these buttons and this scroller right here. I particularly like this info screen. I think it gives you a lot of neat information and the system is very snappy, very good. Uh, this off-road uh, image right here is pretty neat, gives you an idea of how the truck is centered. Overall, it's a very nice screen. It's very functional and it gives you a lot of good information, very simply. And right ahead of us, you can see our heads up display. It does not flicker like that in real life. It's just a still image. I can adjust that using these, sorry, it's kind of hard to see, using these buttons right here. You can see it shows your speed and the speed limit in the area you are in. Very useful system. I like that trucks have these now. It's very cool. Starting here at the top, you might remember that camera I mentioned in the back. That is feeding live right here. So it acts as your rear view camera. It is very high quality, uh, many frames per second. So it doesn't look sort of choppy like you would expect. Overall, it's a very cool system. It's in most GM vehicles, uh, most high-end General Motors vehicles. As we move down from that, you have some nice design here with your different types of metal interacting. You have your air vents, which actually feel very nice. They have rubber and metal together. That's a nice uh, material combination that I like to see. You have your infotainment right here. Sorry for the um, AC noise you might hear. As you can see, it is 102 degrees right now. So this system, uh, uh, if you watch our channel a lot, you will know that we really like this system. It's very snappy. General Motors really knocked it out of the park with this one. As you can see, we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, something that's sort of neat about this vehicle would be the camera app. Now, lots of vehicles have cameras like this. Some work better than others, but I have it already on this camera in particular. This is another camera in the bed of the truck looking just at the bed. So if you want to check on what's going on back there, you can look at this camera right here, which is pretty cool. So you have two cameras back there looking behind you, which is pretty neat. And you have, you know, a, a whole array of cameras around your truck that are going to show you all sorts of different viewpoints, some of which kind of work better than others. This is like that drone view that Audi and BMW do very well. General Motors is still sort of working on it, but hey, it's better than nothing. To get home, there's a physical home button right here. That's very nice to see. As we move down from that, we have our climate controls. So I love these climate controls. They do feel a little cheap. These are plastic. I would prefer metal, but that's okay. You can see as I turn it right here, the number for the degrees inside changes in that little circle. These are screens, which is very cool. Um, and you can also see it pops up on the screen up here as well, showing you what that temperature is and giving you the controls in your infotainment system. Moving down from there, things get a little bit busy. You do have lots of different controls uh, on these cool toggle switches. I really like these toggle switches. A lot of vehicles are doing these now. I think the first to do it was probably like the Mustang, but now the Ram 1500 does it. So do these GM trucks. Um, there are no blank switches here, which I really like but you do have an exhaust brake. Remember you're towing on this truck. You have buttons for your active safety features, tailgate, hazards, um, traction control, power outlets, and your hill descent control buttons all in here. One thing that I noticed that is sort of interesting is that all the vehicle icons in here are sort of mismatched. So what am I talking about? Well, sometimes the automaker prints a little picture of a car or truck on a button to just demonstrate some vehicle function and what that button does. On the hill descent control, they have an SUV printed. On the hood, they have a car printed. But last time I checked, we were in a pickup truck. So some part sharing, that's just interesting to note. Moving down from that, you have a lot of connectivity options. You have a traditional cigarette lighter. You have a traditional power outlet. You have a USB-C and USB-A port along with your trailer brake controls. Down from that, you have a um, wireless charging pad, which is very nice to see. Behind that, you have two cup holders and a weird square. And then as you move back from there, you have this very nice armrest. I like this armrest a lot, the design. You have this perforated leather with this solid leather right here. And then you have a perfect area for a phone right here if you don't want it to slide around. So maybe you can have your phone wirelessly charging and your passenger's phone right here. One other thing that I did forget to mention when I was talking about the climate was that the seats up here are both heated and cooled. Overall, very nice space to be, very practical. I have very few complaints, they're all trivial. All right, so here we are in the back of the truck and the leg room back here is just ridiculous. This is where I would sit normally if I were driving and I sit fairly close to a wheel, but this is where I would sit. And as you can see, I have tons of leg room right here. Now we even put the seat all the way back and I still had some leg room. I was still fine and I could do a long trip seated like that. So that is really impressive. Just the sheer amount of room you have back here. You do have nice materials on your armrest. You do have some black plastic right here. So it's not as nice as the front, but it's still pretty nice. 
you do have the center area right here. You have two cup holders, then outlined in metal, you have two air vents, which are nice. You have your cigarette outlet right there, pardon my reach, and you have a USB-A, USB-C outlet, along with these um, outbound heated seat right here. So your outboard passenger seats are heated, which is very nice. So then also back here, you have this. This is sort of a nice little, um, armrest slash cup holder. Again, you have the weird square. I guess you could maybe put a phone in there. I'm not entirely sure what GMC was thinking when they put that there and you can close that. Now, there are some secret storage compartments back here, which are very neat, as I shall now demonstrate. Just look at the size of this door as I get out. It is massive. In your seats, in your outboard passenger seats, you have little cubbies that open. Colin, if you wouldn't mind coming around here, you can see they're not big, but it's storage, storage is storage, right? That is a very cool feature. And I really like innovations like that. That is what sets this truck apart from other competitors. Overall, a very nice back passenger area, plenty of head, headroom, plenty of legroom. Entry and exit is very easy, a very nice experience. So guys, we had a lot of fun looking at this truck today. If you like this video, please consider it to our channel. This helps a lot. We make weekly reviews just like this. We're gonna try upping the videos and putting a bit more out before we head off to college where um, our videos may not be as regular, but we're still gonna put videos out. Don't worry about it, guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe, please leave feedback, leave a like, it helps us a lot. Also a big thanks to Coon Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville. They help us out so much with getting all these General Motors vehicles and they are really great people that um, are always willing to give a helping hand and have some great prices. So come check them out. Uh, once again, thank you for watching and we hope you have a great week.